This video is brought to you by Michitoyo. Precision is our profession. If you're looking for real world insights, tips from leading industry experts, the latest trends in products and technology, you've come to the right place. From MSC Industrial Supply, this is Tooling Up. Hello, and thank you for joining us on Tooling Up. I'm your host, Tony Neary, and we're so glad that you're here with us on the MSC YouTube channel. If you're new, make sure to click that subscribe button and like this episode as well. Now, today we have not one, but two very special guests that are joining us. Special guest number one is Michael Grosenbach, product manager at Mitutoyo. And then we have a returning guest number two, and that is Patrick Sullivan, also with Mitutoyo. Thank you both for being here with us today. Thanks, Tony. Yep, thanks for having us. Michael, can you start by telling us a little bit about your path and how you really got started in this industry? So basically, I was always interested in how things work and taking things apart, and sometimes actually got things put back together. Um, but that interest in seeing how things worked transferred over into eventually into engineering in college. And that led to uh, working for Mitsutoyo. Working for Mitsutoyo, I worked with a lot of different applications, so I get to see how things work for all these different customers. So, and, and I'm happy to be able to help everyone out. And I love that curiosity brought you into this because I used to take stuff apart when I was little and I generally never got it back together. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, Patrick, I know that you're the national account manager for Mitsutoyo and you're no stranger to tooling up. But for our audience that maybe didn't catch that other episode, um, tell us a little bit about your background as well. Sure. Yeah, I've been in uh, manufacturing sales, I guess you could call it, for uh, well over 10 years. And I've been with uh, Metatoyo for almost seven years now. So uh, it's great to be back on, Tony. Awesome. And Pat, what's your favorite part about what Metatoyo really does bring to our industry? Sure. You know, um, Metatoyo has a really unique culture. Yes, we're a somewhat big global corporation, but uh, really, we really have a family atmosphere. We're still owned by the Namata family, started the company back in 1934, and now we're run by his grandson. And, and uh, we're all about uh, making great tools and equipment for our customers. Pat, I think that is the perfect segue into really talking about the usability of indicators and how that's really driven product development at Mitutoyo. Michael, I think you're going to lead us a little bit into some of these new innovations. Yeah, absolutely. In the market, we saw a lot of need from customers for gauges that had a lot more features, but were also easy to use for their operators. So with these, that's what we've done. We've added a lot of features, but also made it um, easier with to see. For example, we have a larger display. We have a large analog uh, digital bar on it, so it has more of a feel like a dial indicator, plus some go-no-go -no -go features in it uh, to make it obvious at a glance if a part is in or out of spec. So you've got arrows on it. You've also got um, uh, the complete display changed from in or out of spec. Yeah, best of both worlds, right? The exactly. dial with the digital. Right. I think it's fantastic. And, and what I want to understand a little bit more, just because our, our audience for tooling up, can you talk a little bit about IDC versus IDF and really what the difference is and what, what drives that? What different problems are they solving? Sure. So the, the IDC is a battery operated unit. Uh, so what's nice about this is it still has the same display essentially as the IDF, but it's battery operated. Uh, you've got the LCD here, so you can have this remote, you can have it without any access to wires. The IDF, though, solves the problem of having, even from a distance, it's a backlit AC powered unit. So it changes from green to red. Um, so you can see all the way across the shop floor if a gauge is in or out of spec. All right, so not just new designs, but we have new functions, improved readout, um, more usability. Tell us a little bit more about what else you're bringing to the table. So some of the other features, we increased the resolution. So now you have uh, better resolution at 20 millionths or half micron uh, for it. It also has a calibration warning function. So you can see on the display when the gauge is ready to be like a warning function, when it's ready to be calibrated. Um, and when it's past the calibration date, the whole display starts flashing. Uh, so you can see that at a glance. Plus with this additional information that's being stored in the gauge, uh, such as calibration date, serial number, we added a new output format. So it's a bi-directional digimatic format, which is a, we're calling S1. And that allows data to be stored on the gauge, or features and parameters to be stored on the gauge, but accessible through commands. So we have free and paid versions of software that you can access this 
or through serial commands, you can access this, which is important for companies that need that traceability. In some cases, they need to be able to pull what the serial number is so they can track that gauge through their, um, their measuring and manufacturing processes. And that's the perfect segue. I know smart factory, smart manufacturing, huge yeah. buzz right now. Everybody's talking about it. Um, but really, I mean, this is what it's all about, right? That data, the storage, the communication, the ability to, to track all of that information. You know, the way we see it, the factories of the future are all going to be connected. So that's your hand tools, your machines, and, and beyond that, maybe even multiple locations, all sending that information into a centralized database. So we have hand tools that can send the information, and then we have our new high gauge, the LH, that can also send that information as well. So, Pat, I was going to say, knowing Mitch Toyo, continuous improvement in my mind, and those, those two synergies really go together. You don't come on without teasing at least something new that's happening. So what's next on the horizon? Yes, I'm glad you asked. We're going to grab our new LH high gauge and put it up on our table. Just came out uh, maybe a month ago. Super excited about this gauge. And uh, we want to show a couple of uh, some of the features and, and, and uh, new exciting things about our LH high gauge. So Tony, this is our new LH high gauge. Both Mike and I are super excited about this product. Uh, if you don't mind, we're going to nerd out a little bit on you on, you on this thing. Um, it is not only super, super accurate, most accurate in this class, but really easy to use. It's so user friendly and we couldn't be more excited about the, this gauge coming out. Well, you know, I'm all about nerding out. That's like my favorite thing ever. But how <laughs> easy is it to use? So like any anybody off the street could come in and, and work this? Sure. Mike? Yeah, exactly. So what we've done is um, added a touch screen to this, and we've added um, steps through each process. So if someone comes in to measure a diameter, it tells you touch off on the bottom, and then it shows you another icon to tell you to scan, another icon to move up to the top surface and scan. So it really um, steps you through everything. So 95% of all the features in this, I just walked up to it and started poking around. Yeah. Uh, so you can access all the menus. You can instantly change the, the units from inch to metric. Uh, you can change the resolution very easily. Everything is from the screen, from the results screen. Plus, you can still take measurements between uh, previously taken uh, data and measurements as well. The funnest feature is the air bearing here, if I could reach around. But uh, too bad you're not here, Tony. You could take this thing out for a test drive. But the <laughs> air bearing lets you move the high gauge around. The motorized feature, so when you're making a measurement, you press the button. It does it for you so you can get better accuracy and better repeatability. And not to mention, we were going to talk about 2D measurement, right? Yeah, so the 2D mode, um, basically, it's like a two-dimensional CMM. So you can walk up to this, though, and just hit buttons and the approximate locations of the dimensions that you want to measure. And you, you measure those, you rotate the part, measure them again, and you can give you that those two-dimensional measurements. So, for example, if you had two um, inside diameters and you wanted to measure the angle between them, you could instantly just hit one as a datum, hit the second hole as, uh, as a measured point, and it would give you that angle, or it can give you the X and Z location for that, so you can get coordinates, bolt hole circle, all sorts of really cool features. I want to take the minute to thank you both for joining me, um, okay. because this has been an absolute blast learning about the product, but more importantly, Pat having you back and Michael meeting you for this episode as well. I appreciate it. Okay, I'm, I'm looking forward to the next one, Tony. Let's set it up. If you've enjoyed this conversation with Michael and Patrick as much as I have, and trust me, you need to see the outtakes to see why we're all kind of chuckling as we're finishing this up. Usability in the market, continuous improvement, and just having the best products for your value, longevity. Um, you want to make sure that you go to check out the Mitch Toyo tools on www.mscdirect.com slash Mitch Toyo. Thanks so much and catch us next time on Tooling Up. Want more insights and ideas to improve the efficiency and productivity of your operations? Check out the Tooling Up video playlist to hear tips that can take your company to the next level and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out.